Imagine running the latest version of Android, Android 16, right on your Windows PC or laptop. Not just a simulated interface or a limited preview, but the complete operating system with all its features, including the official Google Play Store. Android 16, codename Baklava, is Google's newest release built on API level 36. It brings refined performance, improved battery statistics, redesigned quick settings, and a polished look that feels modern and responsive. Normally, the only way to try this would be to buy a new phone. In this video, I'll show you how to get Android 16 running smoothly on your Windows computer without needing an extra device. Once it's set up, you'll be able to browse the web in Chrome, stream videos on YouTube, manage your files through the new Android 16 interface, and of course, open Play Store and download your favorite apps and games. Lighter games like Candy Crush and Angry Birds will run without any issue while heavier games such as Asphalt 9 or Call of Duty Mobile can also be tested depending on how powerful your PC is. The best part is that we are using the official tools from Google. Everything will be done through Android Studio, which includes the official Android emulator. It's not any risky third-party software, it's free, safe and built to work perfectly on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Whether you are curious about the new Android features or excited to try mobile games on a bigger screen, this guide will take you through the entire process. By the end, your Windows PC will double as a fully working Android 16 device. So grab a coffee, sit back and follow along step by step. Before we get into the fun part, there's something important we need to check. Your computer must have virtualization enabled. This is what makes the emulator fast and responsive. Without it, Android 16 will feel slow or might not run at all. Open Task Manager. Go to the Performance tab and select CPU. Look for the word Virtualization on the right. If it says Enabled, you are ready. If it says Disabled, you need to enable it from the BIOS settings. Restart your PC and enter the BIOS. Inside BIOS, find Intel Virtualization Technology or SVM mode for AMD processors. Turn it on. Save and exit. Now check Task Manager again to confirm it's enabled. Once virtualization is enabled in the BIOS, you also need to make sure the Virtual Machine Platform feature is turned on in Windows. This feature allows Android Studio's emulator to use hardware acceleration more efficiently. To enable it, search for Windows Features and click on Turn Windows Features On or Off. In the list that appears, scroll down and find Virtual Machine Platform. Check the box next to it. Click OK and wait for Windows to apply the changes. You will be asked to restart your computer, so go ahead and restart before continuing with the rest of the setup. Now it's time to download the Android emulator. We'll use Android Studio because it comes with the official Android emulator. Open your browser and search for Android Studio. Go to the official website and click download. Once it's finished, Open the file and follow the setup steps. After the installation, launch Android Studio. On the first run, it may download and install some additional files. Choose the standard installation option. It's easier and installs everything we need. Accept the license terms and let it finish. By now, you have Android Studio installed, which gives us access to the Android emulator. We'll use it to grab the Android 16 system image and set up our virtual device. To do so, Click on More Actions and open the SDK Manager. In the SDK Platforms tab, look for Android 16, also known as API Level 36. 
Check the box next to it. Click Apply to download and install the files. After that, open the Virtual Device Manager. Click the plus button to create a new device. You will see a list of profiles for different types of devices such as phone, tablet, desktop, TV, etc. If you want a phone experience, select one of the Pixel models. For a tablet experience, choose the Pixel tablet. The desktop profiles only support Android versions up to Android 14, so we will not use them here. I will select the tablet option. In the API drop-down, choose the Android 16 system image. In the Services drop-down, make sure Google Play Store is selected. From the list of images, choose the first option. This is the stable release for Android 16 and will give you the most reliable performance. To make the emulator run more smoothly, open additional settings and adjust the resource allocation based on your PC's hardware. You can check your system specs in Task Manager. My computer has an AMD Ryzen 5 6-core processor, 8GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD. I'll set the internal storage to 30GB so I can install larger apps and games without running out of space. For extended storage, which works like an SD card, I'll set it to at least 2GB. This is optional but it can be useful for apps that save data externally. Since my processor has 6 physical cores, I'll allocate all 6 to the emulator. I'll keep graphics acceleration on automatic or hardware so it uses my dedicated NVIDIA GPU for better rendering. I'll assign 4 GB of RAM to ensure smooth performance even with heavy apps. Set the VM heap size to 512 MB to handle large textures and graphics in games. Click Finish. Your new device will appear in the Device Manager. Now comes the exciting part. Click the play button next to your virtual device. The emulator will open in a new window and begin to boot. It feels just like starting up a brand new Android device for the first time. After a few seconds, the Android 16 home screen appears. Swipe down from the top to reveal the quick settings panel. Open the settings app. Scroll to About Device and confirm you are running the latest version of Android right on your Windows machine. Swipe up to open the app drawer. You will find updated Google Apps ready to use. Open Google Chrome to test your internet connection. Sign in to your Google account. Launch YouTube to check video playback. Open Google Photos to explore the new interface. Use the file apps to browse your device storage. Return to the home screen and tap the Play Store icon. You will see familiar Play Store layout, just like on a phone or tablet. Scroll through recommended apps and games or use the search bar to find something specific. Select an app, click install and wait for it to download. When it's done, click open and it will run inside your emulator. You can also try gaming on Android 16. Install casual titles like Angry Birds for a smooth experience or push the hardware with more demanding games like Asphalt 9 or Call of Duty Mobile. Keep in mind that some online shooters like PUBG Mobile, BGMI or Free Fire may not perform perfectly due to compatibility issues or anti-emulator checks. Still. Most single-player games, arcade titles and casual multiplayer games run very well. You can even connect a USB gamepad 
or set up keyboard mapping for better controls. With that, you now have Android 16 running on your Windows PC with full Play Store access. You can explore new features, download your favorite apps, and enjoy mobile games on a bigger screen with more control. Share in the comments which apps or games you have tested and how they have performed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.